Today we are going to discuss a very important product in renewable industry. This product heats your water using air. A common person is very confused on the requirement of this product, its concept, its usage, its pros and cons, whether it is suitable to use this product or not. Can you guess which product I am referring to? Hello everyone, welcome to our channel solarclue.com. I am Akshay. Today we are going to understand about heat pump in detail. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe for more such awesome videos on solar industry. Think first, what is heat pump water heater? Heat pump water heaters are those kinds of heaters that soaks atmospheric heat and increases the temperature of air by compressing technique. The heated gas is then transferred to the water inside the tank and thus the water in the tanks heats up. For soaking the hot air from the atmosphere, it requires little bit of electricity and also to push this heated air to the tank. So this product is not technically 100% renewable since it uses little bit of electricity also. Talking about the parts of a heat pump, it has two physical units. You get a compressor unit and a tank unit. Compressor unit have further two compartments. One whose work is to soak the atmospheric heat and the other unit refrigerant whose role is to compress the hot air and increase the temperature. To begin, the process of heating the air starts from the compressor. The compressor absorbs the heat from the atmosphere or the surrounding air and sends it to the refrigerant. What happens here is the heat sent to the refrigerant will not be too hot. The hotness in air won't be above 30 degree. So the refrigerant compresses the heat and in this way again the compressor absorbs heat and send it to the refrigerant which compresses the heat again. This process continues until the desired temperature or the temperature which is set by the user is achieved. Then the heat is transferred to the tank in which it circulates throughout and makes the normal water hot to be used for bathing. Generally a heat pump on a normal given day gives you a 55 degree temperature. There is an option to set a temperature. If you Suppose if you want to set a 70 degree temperature then heat pump will naturally provide you 55 degree and on top 15 degree will be increased using electricity. So this happens. There is an electrical element placed inside the tank which gets triggered and as soon as it accomplishes 70 degree temperature it will turn off automatically. Now the bigger question is, is the heat pump completely renewable? The answer is no. For all these processes the electricity is used to absorb heat from and because to absorb heat from the atmosphere compressor fan should rotate and transfer that heat from one point to another. And also electricity is used by the refrigerant to compresses the hot air. So the consumption of electricity happens on a daily basis. But these consumptions are very low. Now the next question is how efficient a heat pump is. The efficiency of heat pump water heater depends on the placement of compressor and the coefficient of performance. There are two methods to place the compressor. Split system. And this compressor is separated from the water tank means it is placed separately. The compressor is large here. The larger the compressor, the quicker the heat pump can generate hot water. Split system is better for people with large number and if hot water is required frequently for every hour. It is lesser in price because they are the older version of heat pumps. Second, integrated system type. Both the compressor and water tank are placed together in a single unit here. The compressor is smaller as it is paired with the tank. Integrated system is best for those with the less numbers. Higher in cost because advanced technologies are used to make them. The next important topic, advantages and disadvantages of heat pump. This we are going to do by comparing a solar water heater. The first advantage is that it is an automatic system. Yes, heat pump water heaters are automatic when you compare it with a solar water heater. There will be one electrical backup coil in both heat pump and solar water heater to be used in the days when, when it is required, when there is no sun or the temperature is too low to heat the water. When the members in the family increases during certain days and there is a requirement of more hot water than the standard requirement. In these cases, the natural temperature is not enough to heat water. The electrical backup coil comes to the rescue. In a solar water heater, you need to manually switch on this backup coil and switch off this backup coil whenever the requirement is over. Heat pump, you can set the temperature via a remote and the system will try to achieve that temperature via electricity.
the heat pump is not able to perform naturally you can set the temperature at higher degree let us say you want to set a 65 degree temperature the electrical coil which is present inside the heat pump will heat the water to 65 degree temperature and then automatically will switch off after setting the desired temperature if the number of the people in the family increases then heat the water at higher temperature then more number of members also can take bath the second point is it saves electricity let us see how electricity is saved with a heat pump water heater an electrical geyser will consume two units of electricity if it runs for an hour but a heat pump will use one by fourth of what a geyser is using for example assume a geyser in your home is of 2 kilowatt generally it is 2 kilowatt so if it you keep it on for an hour then the energy meter in your home will increase by 2 units but in heat pumps only 0.5 units will be used by the heat pump this is known as cop or the coefficient of performance basically if a company is saying that the cop of heat pump is 4 then the electricity consumption is going to be 4 times lesser than what we get in a electrical geyser it will consume only 1/4 of what a geyser is consuming so companies may offer you between 4 to 4.5 cop which means it consumes even lesser electricity more the cop more the efficiency so you can choose that brand or product whose cop is higher third advantage is it have a lesser waiting hours since it is an automatic system it prepares your hot water and keep it for you whether it is bad weather condition or not it will prepare the desired hot water for you and it will be available for you all the time here you don't have to wait you can directly go to your bathroom and you will get the hot water directly this will save your time while in a solar water heater the weather condition is not good then you have to manually switch on the electrical backup coil wait for some time and then go for bath and then manually switch it off the advantage is it can handle more number of people in a solar water heater and heat pump the tank size will remain same whatever you choose but in solar water heater only the fixed amount of people can take bath it cannot handle extra member as it is completely dependent on sun energy to heat water but heat pump can handle more people no matter how many uh, how is the weather we can increase the temperature with a remote and the heat pump will heat the water at higher temperature which will compensate extra members now we have discussed a lot of advantages of heat pump what are the disadvantages of heat pump the first disadvantage is it is a too expensive product this water heater can cost you up to twice as much as compared to a solar water heater which can be a setback for those working on a tighter budget the cost can range between 1 lakh to 3 lakh in residential areas but this heaters can still save your money over time with the annual energy cost savings the second is uses electricity on a daily basis to perform the compressor runs on the electricity to extract heat from the air so every day it requires some amount of electricity to run if there is no electricity then the compressor will stop working and the water won't get heated we have to summarize the heat pump all together that will be heat pumps are used usually in commercial section basically in hospitals in pg in hotels in hilly areas and in commercial industries where the requirement of hot water is compulsory all the time the use of heat pump is in residential area also but because of its high cost it is not generally preferred a solar water heater is preferred over heat pump in residential area those people who cannot take bath from cold water all the time this heat pumps are very useful for them thank you for watching this video till the end if you have any confusion or questions please comment down your questions in the comment section thank you so much